Hello everyone, today is December 18th, it is a Monday, 8.50 a.m. Welcome to another episode of Crypto Wars. Let's take a look at the markets. Well, a lot of intense things are going on. BTC is around 19,000. Wow. Okay. It's getting very, very, um, I don't know, hyped, I'd say. There's a lot of hype going on around cryptocurrency, clearly. Um, it is high risk invest. There's a lot of high risk investing going on in general, whether it's indexes or crypto. Um, you know, it's one of those things where it's being encouraged, okay? And that's usually when people get hurt the most or you see economic, uh, economic downfall is when people are taking high risk investment and they're looking to get great returns for not doing much but moving money. Um, you know, it's not that cryptocurrency to me doesn't have all the future in the world. It does. But people are just buying this stuff to buy it. They're not necessarily, um, they're not necessarily buying it to own it. Also, too, with the whales, you're seeing a lot of arbitrage going on in between the exchanges because people are just buying it to buy it. So what's happening, too, is whales are sending it in between exchanges and they're flipping it for more without even having to wait for a price increase. And this is when things get really sketchy, okay? Um, there's a lot of, it's like crypto overload, right? You saw it with Mt. Gox. When things just get too big, it kind of overloads and just explodes, right? Bittrex stopped accepting users. So in the state of New York, people can't even buy alternate coins anymore, right? They have to go to decentralized exchanges if they want the power to do that. And a lot of those exchanges don't even offer the coins anymore. So, um, you know, when you look at the laws and things, and uh, just the centralized exchanges hold a lot of control of the prices and they're dangerous. They shouldn't even exist. You know, I think it should be more like you go to someone with a sack of gold or something and you trade for crypto against gold. You know, the fact that it's still even being traded against the dollar is what's so dangerous because the dollar itself isn't sound. So when you perceive it in dollar value and people, when they're going to these exchanges and they're buying some of these alternate coins, the value has bottomed out when it comes to the price of Bitcoin. But the thing is, is that Bitcoin is worth 19000 So what happens when the price of Bitcoin goes down? All the alts could go down too because everything's priced in Bitcoin. So, But, you know, I'm just talking about the cautionary aspect of right now, the high volatility and things. So, you know, now after getting at that, I want to talk about PureCoin and how it's about 4% away from its soft fork activation. And, uh, you know, I've been telling people about PureCoin soft fork activation for about a month and since then. Uh, it's gone from a dollar to six dollars, and um, it'll be really interesting next couple of days, um, you know, because of the news breaking, and uh, we could see Pure Coin see a significant price increase with its soft fork, which they are taking away checkpoints. And also, talking about Pure Coin, it is the most profitable coin to be mining right now. I think it's. Let me check. Hold on. Um, it is. Oh, it's. Oh, I dropped down a little bit behind Bitcoin Cash. It's. It's. It's currently, I think, seven dollars more profitable than Bitcoin right now. So. Um. You know, but it's also a thin market, so it could definitely be the most profitable mine pretty soon. Um. Also, the energy efficiency is significantly greater and I think uh, speculators will really uh, like that. You're seeing a lot of uh, news come out against the electricity use of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and that's why I like Peercoin to be honest because you know if you can conserve energy for hashing a network like yeah that's a benefit you know it's it's power efficient okay that's it's nonsensical to think that that there isn't an alternative so I call it alternate coins right alternative to a solution a Bitcoin or a problem that Bitcoin has and I think pure coin is a great solution and you know with the soft fork it's not so much that what they're doing in the code but it shows active development anyways on the project which is what attracts investors because as long as there's somewhat active development and not too much active development because if you're making too many changes it's usually not a good thing you know it comes out like some sort of Frankenstein monster and that's what like Bitcoin to me kind of 
uh, has come out, you know, with all the Bitcoin gold and this and that. It's like this Frankenstein monster that they just pulled and pulled apart and put it back together and they just keep doing all this stuff to it. And um, I think it's just dangerous <clears throat> at this point. I think everything is very uncertain. And um, I think the commodity sector is so drained that I'm willing to uh, start speculating on that more. And the reason is, is because it's actually contributing to society, okay? Currency does, this currency does contribute to society in a great way because it allows for a free ledger, okay, that we can use and the free trade with it. So it's, it is huge, you know? But it's when people are attracted to it for the speculative purposes and not its utility is when things get dangerous because they're just buying them. They don't care how much they're spending on them. They're just buying them. You know what I mean? They don't, under, they don't care about what the price is. They'll buy it at any price, you know, because they have no knowledge of it. <laughs> they have no knowledge. I can sell a pure coin to someone on the street maybe for 60 bucks because they have no knowledge of what the market price even should be, right? If I went up to someone and say, like, hey, I'll sell you this piece of paper that has cryptocurrency on it for 10 bucks and has one, I could sell it $4 above market price because they don't know, right? So that's what's happening on the market is because they don't know what it's actually worth. And some of these things are undervalued. I'm not saying that, okay? And, and really against the dollar, it's all undervalued. But for the time being, you know what I'm saying? Once people... When people just want to be followers, okay? Because that's the thing. People are just naturally followers. So. <sighs> that's all I got to say. So just stay vigilant and um, be ready for 2018. This is getting insane. 2018 is going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. All right, peace.